Dynamo hubs just get better and better, and with the increase in power and efficiency of LED light units there's never been a better time to switch over to hub power and ditch the batteries. The Infinity 8 is built to last and performed extremely well throughout testing. Whether you need its USP, the ability to switch it on and off, will depend on how much and how far you're likely to ride. First the science bit. Normal hub dynamos have magnets around the inside of the hub shell, and these interact with coils to produce the power. The Infinity switches things around with a magnetic core at the very center of things. This, say supernova, allows for greater output at lower speeds. It also allows supernova to do something that other dynamos can't, switch off. Normally your dynamo hub runs all the time, generating power even when you don't need it. The Infinity 8 has a rotating disc on one side, turning it allows the magnet to spin with the coils so there's no magnetic resistance. Running on triple sealed bearings, the Infinity is a smooth running hub all the time and when you turn off the generator it'll spin free, just like a standard front hub. Is that something you need? Well, that depends. For a lot of people, saving the 1 to 3 watts of drag that a hub would generate isn't going to make much difference really. It's the equivalent of giving your tires a bit more air. However, if you've got a 600 km odd dax to do and you're running a dynamo hub anyway, the ability to switch it off through the day and run it only at night is going to be saving you a little effort for a significant amount of time, so it might be worth it. The Infinity 8 is drilled for a six-hole disc so you can use it with your disc glide tourer or your mountain bike. Expect to see more and more of these and similar hubs at MTB all-nighters in the coming years as LED technology improves to the point where a 3 watts light is really all you need.